How you doing? I'm Eddie Bonds of Tunes the Fourth, and the reason I do artwork is because for me it's a way to express myself and a way for me to communicate with other artists and other people things, whether it be socially, politically, and a way to also show because a lot of artwork that I do it helps people can relate to it. You know, when I start doing boxing images of boxers and uh, people and other social events, it was because people look at it, they can relate to that picture or that image. And they will say, well, that's my cousin, or that's my sister, or that's my friend, you know. And every image I do is a story behind it, and it's, it goes beyond even boxing. You know, when I would do the boxing images or even the fashion work I would do, a lot of these people had nine to five jobs, and they work those jobs until they were able to get to where they really wanted to be. Doesn't mean they enjoy what they were doing. And um, I just like being able to touch people with the artwork. You know, it's a great way to show positivity, community, and unity. And I hope other artists out there stay encouraged in artwork and continue to move forward with their artwork because you never know who life you may, you may be able to change. So. When I was at different art schools I, I went to, I had some really great teachers, and the teachers that I had, um, like Miss McDaniel, who's been shoveling now, um, showed me how to paint an oil paint. Um, Mrs. Swartz wrote me on photography along with my professor, of course, Jack Wilgus in college, and those are the mediums that I learned um, over the years, and I was able to like work with them and be able to do artwork that was being, that actually ended up being over in other countries. You know, I ended up having my photography like in Japan. I never think in a million years to be in another store, you know, I mean a store overseas. Um, also I had work in the Baltimore Sun and that was because of other art people in the art community I worked with. Um, when I got a scholarship, um, I had to give credit to God for that because I was grateful to even be accepted to that college. I remember when I was a little boy, um, I used to drive by it all the time. I said, you know, I hope I go there one day. And I actually ended up going there. And getting those scholarships to Michael was a wonderful experience because I met people from all over the world. On top of that, it showed me as an artist what I need to do as far as having my portfolio together, um, how to have um, a professional attitude when, you know, being interviewed by like other artists and things of that nature. And it, it was great, you know, and um, my classmates were happy for me. I was happy for some of my, some of my classmates because they ended up coming with me to Micah as well. And, um, you know, I ended up meeting a lot of other talented artists from all walks of life. Yeah. The way I met you mm -hmm. was you called me, uh, mm -hmm. and your mother too. Yes. When I had this wonderful article about my makeup art in the city paper. Yes. Awesome. And the city paper mentioned that I do interviews for artists on YouTube. Yes. And you called me up and says, I would love for you to do an um, interview. And this is how I'm interviewing you right now. But I learned something else. You Last year, mm -hmm. okay, you had a program called Community Art Day. Can mm -hmm. you please tell us about that program? Yes, it was um, called Art Through Your Eyes. And I had partnered with Councilman Julian Jones and uh, working with his sister, Mr. Nita Jones. And they were really awesome. They were kind enough to um, work with me on putting on a free art event for artists in the Baltimore area. And we had about, I guess, 20, 30 tables there that day. And it, it, it was awesome because it was a free event for artists. Um, we had people from UMBC, um, of course Micah, mm -hmm. uh, and Morgan as well. And we had some artists who were um, just doing artwork. You know, they didn't even go to art school. And it was like a great mixed crowd of people. And it was just fun. Everybody was buying artwork, selling artwork. Um, we had some great performances from the Mill for Mill marching band. And it was just a really great event. Everybody had a great day. And next year, we're looking at doing the art event in February. I'll be working with, again with hopefully uh, Councilman Julian Jones and his um, sister and his team. And um, it'll be a great event. We're looking at having a play with it. And it'll be a mixture of artists from fashion to design to painting, and drawing hats. And, um, and so please come out, have a good, good time. I love your artwork and your photography. 
Can you tell us something about your artwork and your photography and how people can get in contact with you? Sure. Um, I've been doing photography now and art for 20 years. And I've done a lot of political artwork, um, weddings, as well as social events. It was just so nice talking to you. Thank you. Eddie, and I'm so glad you read my article thank and you. called me. Yes, thank you. You're a talented artist as well. Oh, thank you. See everybody later. Bye. Bye. Hi, this is Charlene's Eddie mother, and she is going to give you some tips how you can encourage your young artists. Well, my tip is this. If you see your child, son or daughter, drawing a painting, encourage that. See what you can find by encouraging them to draw outside or paint outside their comfort zone. Sooner or later, they're going to span their horizon and they're going to want to see more, do more, to create art more. Go to the museum. Um, drive around town, look at different monuments and things. Have them paint. Have them draw in a sketchbook. Carriage them all the way. Give them a basic camera. Let them start photographing around town because that's what I did with Eddie.